All right, here is Rabbi Tuvia Bolton <clears throat> speaking to you from the Holy Land of Israel about the tunnels. Everybody's talking about the tunnels that were dug under the main uh, synagogue of Chabad in Crown Heights. Tunnels. And I even saw clips sent that the, the, the Jews are, they dig tunnels, they're smuggling children, they're smuggling arms, they're smuggling drugs, they're smuggling. Drugs. Well, but everybody pretty much agrees that the, 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 why, why in fact did they dig the tunnels? Because the building is small and the place where everybody prays is small. And the Lubavitcher Rebbe said over 30 years ago that it was small and it has to be built bigger. And there was even put a, a cornerstone for more building, but the powers that be decided not to build. They decided not to build. And so there were a few boys which were crazy, and they dug. Now the question is, what is worse? What type of a, of a, of a craziness was worse? The cra worse, the craziness that says that we shouldn't do what the Rebbe says and not build, or the craziness that says that we should do what the Rebbe says, but build in a totally unacceptable and possibly even dangerous way. Was it so? But everybody agrees it was crazy. Now the question is, is, okay, this was not good, and that was not good. To not build, do nothing, is definitely not good. The Rebbe wants to be built. But to do it in that way is also not good. Now the question is, which is worse? So not building is not crazy. It's normal. You don't build. You just don't build. That's all. I mean, it's, it's a, you don't spend money. It's the same. But, and to build in such a crazy way is crazy. Now the question is, is crazy bad? Is it bad to be crazy? Well, right now we're learning a discourse written by the sixth Rebbe of Chabad. This is going to be the day of his passing away. It's going to be soon. And in it, he extols the importance of being crazy. And he brings down a story from the Talmud in Ketuvot that in weddings, all of the great rabbis would come and they would be very austere and very honorable and quiet. And they would maybe clap their hands a little bit. And one of the rabbis, who was, seems to be the oldest of all of them, he would also act normally, and all of a sudden he would whip out three sticks, and he would juggle and dance like a maniac, and everyone would say, all of the rabbis said, you're shaming us, you're shaming us. You're embarrassed. All of the rabbis, without exception, nobody agreed with him. He was crazy, and it was crazy according to the, the custom. Nobody did a thing like that. It was crazy. It said that when he died, when this rabbi, the dancing rabbi, when he died, a big pillar of fire in the shape of one of these sticks stood between him and everybody else. And all the rabbis said, looks like God enjoyed it. God enjoyed his craziness. But we don't find anywhere that these rabbis learned afterwards how to juggle. And it was their nature was, is they were calm, ordinary, regular, normal people. And he was crazy. Now, the question was, he crazy above normal or crazy below normal? So the, it says over there that this was crazy above normal, and this is an essential, necessary ingredient for Judaism to do to fulfill the purpose of Judaism, and that is to bring Mashiach, who will build the third temple. And that's why the first tabernacle, which was the prototype of the temple, the walls were made of sheetim wood, which shows on shtut, craziness. And so I pretty much agree that what they did was out of bounds. But the question is, is out of bounds in general, is it a bad thing or not? It's not necessarily a bad thing. And the fact that all the rabbis disagree it doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong. True, if you know a person would go in the middle of the street and pull down his pants, all the rabbis would also be disagree with what he says. That doesn't mean that it's good. Disagreeing of the rabbis is not a sign that something is good. It's not a sign that something is bad. But the story that's brought by the previous rabbi was a story where all the rabbis disagreed and it was the best thing possible. He wants us to be like that man that all the rabbis disagreed with. So we have to check ourselves and we have to do things which are productive in the end. But on the other hand, that the things are not acceptable, and even if they're not acceptable to me, doesn't necessarily mean that it's wrong. And it could be that that's exactly what's necessary to bring Mashiach. One thing for sure, we cannot continue the way we are now and that we have to be more serious and more crazy about what the Rebbe said in order to make a good, beautiful, happy, blessed 
world filled with love and acceptance and progress. We need Mashiach now.